The only penalty that was handed out for the uh, interesting race that we saw at Fontana was Brooke Ingerson was docked 25 points for avoidable contact. She was not sent to the back of the grid. Winning the Delano Polo Award for the second round of the TM Light season for 2013 is Steve Holiday Jr., Carnival 88, the Ernest Lewis car. That's that horrendously colored red, white, and cyan car right there. Uh, the car on the outside of the front row is Yefeli Animia, car 426. And um, ugliness apparently equates to speed to Steve Holiday Jr.'s car. Uh, we believe this car will be running a couple Master Cup Series races with Kate Taylor. I have no idea who he is. Here is Jafali Miha in the 426 car. He's, um, well, he's had the speed in qualifying, but in uh, most of the uh, practice sessions, he's found the wall. As I mentioned just a minute ago, uh, this team will be running uh, the Independence Trophy with Kate Taylor. I'm not sure who he is. I'm not sure why Steve Holiday Jr. will be running those races, but um, regardless, pretty good start for this team. Uh, Brand new team, brand new driver, second TM Light start, and he's in the lead from the pole. Daniel Melrose, the mad uncle, is up to fourth in car number 73. And also, if you look right in front of him, Jacob Eicholtz in the 31. Two cars we expect to be strong today. Lias Cerrone, the Brazilian driver in car number 8. That's the um, former Gutierrez team. They merged with the Lynx, well, Lynx women's team. And Cerrone having a decent start to today's event. James Davis will be making his TM Master Cup Series debut this weekend. Bo, he's spinning around on lap 7 after contact with, I think, Calvin O'Reilly. Oh! Matt Brinson comes piling into Costas Theodoricus, who uh, really was kind of had nowhere to go. But Matt Brinson, um, he's going to be one of the first cars out, and he was quickest in practice in car 25. Most of the field pitted. Um, actually, the entire field pitted uh, to check tire wear. Tire wear going to be far more important than tires. Jacob Eicholtz led the field. Coming to the restart, VJ Bouchanda in the 18 had such a uh, disastrously slow pit stop that he almost lost the lap as Eichholz tags the wall and the Lions goes around the 31. As you can see right there, Daniel Melrose making a move as well in the 73 car. Look out for the MRT car. And I can see Ashley Tucker back there in car number 12 and all sorts of fun and games going on in the back. So, uh, Looks like he could be in for a pretty long day as James Jones in the one car makes some moves. Oh, we got trouble as Leah Cerrone and Bob Steffens get together. Archer Harris doesn't use the brakes, and neither does Takumi Nagata. And Scott Washington, Washington riding the wall to get by that. Okay, Quan Singh also involved in this one. In fact, looks like he's done. We're on board with the, we're on the dashboard camera of the uh, Quan Singh 59 car. The S-Tech car is, uh... He kind of just got swept up in that. Didn't really have too many uh, options there. But uh, the Chinese driver out early. Daniel Melrose leads on the restart in the 73 car. You can see Ashley Tucker sitting in second. Steve Holiday Jr. pitted under that, under that yellow, and he lost a lap. Same with Lane Cranston in the 14 car. So uh, pitting under yellow doesn't seem like it's all it's made out to be. Uh, Holiday Jr., uh, very disappointing for him. But uh, Melrose in the 73 car, a lot of Formula A success, and he is uh, clearly translating it to his second ever oval start as he's uh, pulling away now from some other cars behind him. Here's Axel Andersen, the Swedish driver in car number four, running in the midfield a bit, tags the wall. Oh, we got trouble! Third caution in 20 laps as he got together with, I think, Nick Azure and Mark Blackwell. Yep, that is Nick Azure in the white 46 car, and Mark Blackwell, of course, the, uh, the 22 Gessler. So, uh... Trouble for Anderson early. Coming back to the yellow, Scott Washington and Han Young Sung get together and send Jacob Card and the Rick Milligan 15 car up into the wall. So Card having a uh, um, very tough start to the race in that ride. Paul Lyons in car number two leads the race, driving for Black Diamond Racing. Axel Anderson, car number four, is off the lead lap. Second place is Claire Aussier in the Lynx women's team car. The 11 car as Anderson and Aussier tag the wall as uh, Paul Lyons begins to streak away from the rest of the field. Paul Lyons has uh, many wins in this series in the Master Cup Series. Here's Buffy Boreanaz, the winner of the season opener. Car 24, Power Steering Incorporated is uh, without a doubt the biggest team in the series as far as uh, funding is concerned. So it's not really a surprise that they run as well as they do. But uh, this 24 team, uh, clearly they've gotten their act together from last year, but Boreanaz is running strongly. Oh, that's Robert Blake in the 7 car. He's uh, the rookie for Black Diamond Racing. That's one of only two three-car teams in the field. He's running an eighth right now, and uh, Blake, of course, replacing Bernhard Strauss in this car. Um, Blake has already proven to be much quicker than Strauss ever was uh, in this car. Uh, so we're gonna uh, we're looking forward to see a lot from Robert Blake. 
and you can see uh, some fun and games going on behind him. And there is uh, one of those cars. That is Mariano Zavala, car number 45, the uh, Venezuelan driver. If the sponsor didn't give that away, um, uh, the uh, Venezuelan driving him here. Pretty strong run so far. He's running in, uh, well, now 10th because James Jones and the one card just went by him. Here's Melrose in the 73 as Ausier looks on the inside. The bad uncle swings it wide on the outside. Ausier is going to try him on the low side. Ausier is going to get the spot. No, not quite. I called that one too soon. But uh, Ausier is uh, clearly having to fight for it. And uh, not too many people end up fighting with positions with Claire Ausier very long because usually it results in a crash because Claire Ausier was uh, one of the most lethal weapons all of last season. Uh, clearly, she's cleaned up her act. Here is uh, Daniel Melrose's teammate, Darren Cardell. As, oh, he got hooked in the back by the 96 of Frederick Yeager. And the um, other car involved in that was the 54 of Daxter Hamlet. So we have four cautions and 32 laps. You do the math. That doesn't bode well. Thurston Blood, the 2011 TM Lights champion, the leads on the restart. And Darren Cardell, despite being punted in the wall, is in second place. They did not pit to repair that car at all. That's encouraging. Um, as you can see, some one car leaving the pit lane. That's James Davison, the 29 car. He's had all sorts of trouble. But uh, Thurston Blood tr uh, is trying to prove that he is actually the real deal, uh, despite winning uh, the championship. But, um, well, anyways. Uh, oh, big stack up in the back, looks like. And lots of cars in a very small space. Oh, Ingverson in the wall. Gets hooked by the 7 car of Robert Blake and takes VG Pushan into the infield. No caution for some reason. Darren Cardell in the 87 car, of course, Daniel Melrose's teammate over there at MRT, um, having a fairly strong run. Uh, he's a touring car driver with uh, some repute. Here's Brandon Leroux in the 33 car as he makes a move on the inside of Thurston Blood. He's uh, trying to make up a lot of ground. Of course, Leroux won the pole for the season opener in this 33 car. The Afterburner Motorsports team is Daniel Melrose goes to the middle in the 73 car. Melrose making things happen there. He took Leroux and Thurston Blood both by surprise and picked up two spots. How about a move there as we've got trouble in the back as there's, oh, we got Dan Richards, the 133 car around into the wall. Oh, look out, James Jones in it. Oh, they're piling up everywhere. They're, oh, what is he doing? Richards cut off Robert Blake and they're still wrecking. There you see Leah Cerrone and Steve Holiday Jr. piling into it. Friedrich Jaeger is involved in this as well in the back. Oh, boy. Yep, this is a wreck that uh, we're going to have to have another look at. Us. Here is Friedrich Jaeger in the 96 Eagler Bolden. As there's the wreck, he doesn't really slow down, and neither does Costas Theodorkas as the 96 rolls it over several times. Ashley Tucker involved, Leah Cerrone, and Steve Holiday Jr. also um, failed to use the brakes. All right, here's Bobby Dollar, the third of the Black Diamond racing cars, in the lead of the race with his teammate Paul Lyons in second. You'll notice he's got rookie stripes in the back of that car. Now, he's not really a rookie, but um, Bobby Dollar hit the wall in practice, and uh, they just pulled a rear bumper, one of the rear bumpers that was uh, one of Robert Blake's, and they just stuck it on that car. Of course, Blake is a rookie, so it would make sense that there's uh, stripes on there. As we've got trouble, Dexter Hamlet around in the 54. Car had nowhere to go. Calvin O'Reilly in it, and as well as... Um, and they're still wrecking. Why did Mark Blackwell get into that? So it looks like O'Reilly is playing some uh, demo derby out there. All right. Anyways, uh, Bobby Dollar is still leading in the 98 car. Of course, he's kind of got, doesn't really have a full-time sponsor, of course. His own team was bought out by Black Diamond. He's never won a TM Lights race, but uh, his speed this year has drastically picked up ever since he sold, that te uh, sold his own team. Looks like it was the right move. Here are the two African-American drivers in the field doing battle with each other. Scott Washington in the 0, Mike Andrews in the 51. Uh, Mike Andrews in the 51 car having a very strong run. Of course, he's got a lot of short track experience, and he's usually been uh, a very aggressive driver. But that's all. But uh, that's often paid off for him because he's had some good results. As Claire Alsi in the 11 car scraping the outside wall, and uh, Alsi in the wall, and well, that was inevitable. Well, there's our guaranteed Claire Alsi caution in the uh, car number 11. She's scheduled to make her TM Master Cup Series debut. In the future, she did win Darlington last year, though. So, uh, there is some, uh, method to the madness over there. Anyways, Bobby Dollar and, uh, Paul Lyons are still 1-2 in the Black Diamond cars. Is, oh, we got trouble. Yep, someone went around in the back there. So, we got trouble in the infield, and that somebody is Brandon Leroux in the 33 in that black and bronze car. And there goes the Brandon Sheriff pair of 33 as Brooke Ingverson gets collected. And, uh, well... 
His datas went from great to terrible in a hurry as Nick Azure in the 46 car goes up the racetrack. And oh, look, exactly what I thought would happen as Cameron Taylor joins him in the wreck. Jo Joe Olenek doesn't use the brakes. Darren Cardell involved in that as well. Uh, so an unnecessary secondary collision. All right. Paul Lyons and in the Carnivore 2 is still chasing Bobby Dollar in the 98 car. Uh, Lyons, oh, we got Washington in the wall, but Lyons is, try is definitely trying to go after his teammate. He's not just going to sit back there in second. Um, well, he's going to try to make a race out of it, but he's got to deal with the lap car of Mariano Zavala, who's not exactly being very courteous out there in the uh, car number 45. And Nick Azure in the 46 car is going up the racetrack a little bit. And, oh, whoa, what is Calvin O'Reilly doing? And Axel Anderson. So, uh, two dark blue cars, both of them not being... Uh, well, that was kind of a silly incident in the back. Uh, anyways, that's nine cautions today. As we're with now with less than ten laps to go, Bobby Dollar, Mariano Zavala, and Paul Lyons. Well, Zavala in the 45 car is a lap down, and Lyons is uh, going to be wanting to get by Zavala. Bobby Dollar wants this one to go green the rest of the way, but, um, uh, well, we'll just have to wait and see on that. Bobby Dollar in the 98 car has never won a TM Light Series event. He's doing a pretty good job so far today. He's already clinched the laps lead bonus points, so he's uh, well on his way to doing that. Back in seventh place, the Terra International Motorsports 40 car of Joel Rodriguez is having a solid run today. He's uh, worked his way through the field, and as he pushes up the racetrack into Cameron Taylor, what was that all about? And the, uh, the 40 car now pulling... Oh, what is he doing? What are you doing, son? Daniel Melrose has none of that. But uh, Joel Rodriguez swerving all over the track like an idiot, breathalyze him, please! Because that was just ridiculous driving from someone who should know better than that. Anyways, we've got a two-lap shootout with the two black diamond cars, first and second. And Paul Lyons is making a race out of it! As he makes gives uh, Bobby Dollar a little bit of hell coming into one. Doesn't touch him, but Dollar's certainly wary of him. As he as Dollar scrapes the wall, Lyons comes on the inside, coming to the white flag. But does he have enough momentum coming off the final corner? No, he doesn't. One lap to go now. But Bobby Dollar in the 98 car has the advantage. Paul Lyons right behind him. Holding on, is Lyons going to have enough time to make a final go at his teammate? Through the dog leg. Into the final corner of this tricky triangle. But it's not going to be enough as as Bobby Dollar takes his first TM Light Series win for Black Diamond Racing. And in car number two, Paul Lyons comes home in second to his teammate, but a great run for both of them regardless. Mike Andrews came home third to complete the podium. Jacob Eichel, Scott Washington, solid runs. Claire Alcier in sixth. Wow, that's a pretty good recovery drive, I have to admit. And Han Young Sun continues to impress in the Gravity Racing 71. Buffy Borianas, Brandon Laroa, and Axel Anderson make up the top ten. Daniel Melrose, solid 11th. And going a bit further back there, Darren Cardell's had a pretty good finish in the car number 87. And so did Thurston Blood, the champion two years ago. And also, Steve Holiday Jr. gets some condolences. He gets 19th, uh, gets a couple points, as well as the points for winning the poll. And for all the trouble he was in today, Nick Azure in car number 46 comes home in 17th place. I think he was involved in, like, um, we had 10 cautions in today's race. I think he was involved in, I think, half of them. So, uh... 46 team is uh, gonna have gonna hold their head high hopefully by getting some points and Brooke Ingerson of course was penalized after the first race and she uh, takes home the final point in 20th place and let's have a look now at the TM Light Series Drivers Championship with Buffy Boreanaz still in the lead in car number 24 as Han Young Sung sits second Bobby Dollars moved up to third Anderson Lyons Andrews Olenek is uh, Joe Lennox in the 23 car, despite being kind of a bulldozer out there today. Scott Washington in the zero has been a very impressive rookie. Haven't really said enough about him, though. Jacob Eichholz and Claire Aussier make up the top 10 in the TM Lights Championship. The next round of the TM Lights Series will be at Road Atlanta in Georgia, and it will once again be a companion event with the TM Master Cup Series. So there is still an incentive for these drivers to impress the TM Master Cup Series team bosses.